Welcome. So what we're going to do in this problem is we're going to use our um, fact of parallel lines as well as a transversal, and we're going to apply it to this closed figure, uh, this polygon that we have. So one thing that we want to do whenever I, you know, I'm looking to using my angle relationships for parallel lines, I want to make sure I can see those parallel lines. So I'm going to extend the parallel lines that I have. And when we're looking at angle relationships, remember we're looking for parallel lines as well as a transversal, a line that's going to intersect those parallel lines. And I can see that this line intersects the parallel lines. This one does not. So you know what? I'm just going to simply erase this because it's not really affecting our problem at all. Now, and I can extend this as well. So now I have a problem that looks very similar to a problem that we have worked on before. You have 2x and 2x minus 40. So now to go ahead and sol simply solve this, all I simply need to do is um, know how or identify, before I can solve, what type of angles these are. Well, since they're both interior of the parallel lines, as well as on the same side of the transversal, I'm going to call these same side interior. And our angle relationships for same side interior, they're the only ones that are supplementary. The rest of our angle relationships are equal to each other. So since these are supplementary, what that means is they are add up to 180. Um, so I can say 2x plus 2x minus 40 is equal to 180. Now I can combine my like terms. So I get 4x minus 40 equals 180. Add 40 to both sides. And I get 4x is equal to 220. So um, dividing that by 2 would be 110. Dividing by that 2 um, one more time would be x equals 55. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve um, you, for your transversal and parallel lines using same side interior. Thanks.